there, the YouTube. My name is Rob, and welcome to part three and the final part of my review of every band playing Download Festival 2019. Earlier in the week, we did parts one and two linked in the description. In this video, we are going from S to Z in the alphabet, so that's Stevenage all the way down to the Zulus. Neither of those bands are playing if Stevenage is even a band. Just before we start, if you like this video, please could you click like and subscribe so that you can get all of my festival content as soon as I upload it. That's going to be great. Anyway, on with the bands. Simple Creatures, the Blink-182 all-time low mashup. It's rock more than punk, and it's definitely 80s synthesizer rock at that. It's really good, but bear in mind that it's absolutely nothing like Blink-182 or all-time low. Skid Row, it's Guns N' Roses. I mean, it's not, it's Skid Row, but it's Guns N' Roses. Do you like Guns N' Roses? You'll like Skid Row. It's all good. Skindred. Reggae metal that is really accessible. They also do a really good show and they know how to get a crowd going. Skind. Skind? S-K-Y-N-D. That band. Metal slash rap slash weird singer lady. It's basically the metal version of Die Antwoord. Slash, featuring Miles Kennedy and the Conspirators. It's Slash. It's classic rock with amazing guitar work. There's nothing else to say because you already know it's going to be good. Slayer. It's classic thrash metal for Slayer's final ever UK appearance. Like with Black Sabbath a few years ago, if you have the chance, you should go see it just because it's Slayer. Slipknot. Melodic heavy metal with some rap-inspired lyrics. They're also headlining, and I did an entire Need to Know video on them last week, so if you want to watch that, link in the description, check it out. Starset. A band that makes commercial concept albums. I have no idea how. They're a good band playing progressive, relatively middle-of-the-road kind of music. State Champs. Pop punk, probably leaning a bit more towards rock. They're in that weird category of pop punk bands formed after 2010. So it's not got the same teenage angst and it's a lot heavier, but it's still pop punk. Stone Temple Pilots. Stone Temple Pilots are an Americana classic rock band. Not to be confused with 21 Pilots, who are shit. Sumo Psycho. A metal band with a very reggae kind of vibe. It's female fronted Skindred, and it is really good. Tesla, a good classic rock band with a lead singer that sounds like Axl Rose used to and looks like Steve Perry does now. The Amity Affliction, another uh, metalcore band. There's a lot of rough vocals and just enough clean vocals for it to be accessible. It's pretty good. The Beaches, very light, very indie rock band. They have a chill out vibe and some very good songs. The Who, Mongolian throat singing heavy metal. And let's face it, you have to go see them just because that is their description. Inspector Cluzo, two-person bluesy rock band. It's very chilled out, indie rock kind of music. The Interrupters, oh my god, new favourite band for this year. The Interrupters are a ska punk band somewhere between Madness and Rancid. They are incredibly good and I'm so excited to skank to them this year. The Smashing Pumpkins, really good alternative rock music fronted by a guy who dresses weird. The Wonder Years, a 2000s pop punk band who move more towards rock every year. However, they still make good music. So it's okay. Those Damn Crows, a really good heavy rock band. There isn't much else to say, they're good. Three Days Grace, emo without the aesthetic. They look like a pop punk band, but they sound sad. Musical styles and band lineup changes mean they just now make sad metal music. Tool, an industrial metal band somewhere between Nine Inch Nails and Primus. And I mean that as the highest form of a compliment. Tosca, another instrumental band. Is it just me, or are there a lot of them this year? I don't mind instrumental bands, it's just that I also like, you know, singing as well. Trash Boat, a pop punk band that sounds something like Zebrahead and State Champs. An enjoyable modern skate punk band. Trivium, a metal band that likes their speed, and they get a lot of hate, and I don't really know why. I mean, I don't like them, but I don't know why that is. 12 Foot Ninja, a band with a very strange sense of humour. There's something very Flight of the Concords about them. Under Oath, your average metal band. They're also a Christian metal band, if that matters to you. I don't know, maybe. Underside, a metal band from Nepal, a nipple band. They have guitars, drums, rough vocals, all that kind of stuff. It's a bit dull for me, to be honest. Vambo, a rock band with a very 70s chilled vibe, but also a hard rock vibe. It's a weird mix, but it goes together quite well. Vega, another 80s rock and roll band. Good riffs and decent music. Whitechapel, a death metal band, which I don't think there are too many of this year, so that's nice to see. They're also kind of melodic, which I can dig, which that's pretty cool. They're also from Tennessee, but named after an area of London, for some reason. 
White Snake, classic, classic rock. The kind of stuff that you will drunkenly sing your heart out to at any rock club. It's fantastic. Wolfjaw, good riffs and music you can dance to. They also have a really cool name. Yours Truly, a pop punk band who sound like Paramore used to, you know, before they went all weird. Zebrahead, a 90s pop punk and hip hop band. I actually saw them last year supporting Real Big Fish. They are still a good band and they can still play some really good pop punk. And that is every band review for Download Festival 2019. Let me know in the comments what you thought. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please do click like and subscribe. Follow me on the social medias. And again, you can buy me a coffee on Ko-Fi if you want, no pressure. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Rob and I will see you in another video very soon.